sunny clouds around southern Colorado as we go through our Wednesday evening, and some of those clouds will begin to yield some showers. Yeah, some of that could include things like snow or a mix of rain and snow in places like Cascade. As we look at the camera at North Pole, Santa's workshop, 46 degrees on the Pikes Peak Highway. The wind is calm. And you can see a few of those colors off in the distance. For the most part, it's pines here, but some of those colors are changing, especially in the aspens as we go all around the region over the last few weeks. Live HD Doppler radar shows us that as we look at our full range, we can see a few that those snow showers mixing in the blues and purples that you see on your screen. Other than that, we're going to be talking mainly about showers and isolated thunderstorms north of I-70 between I-70 and I-76, in addition to the activity that's over here in the portions of Lincoln County. It's all pushing off to the east-northeast. We're seeing a few showers in Pueblo County as well, pushing over towards the hunt along Highway 50. That'll slow you down a bit if you're heading between the two cities this evening. 39 is where we're going to wind up at in the springs, and with the possibility for some precipitation on the north end of town, especially some of that could mix in between rain and snow or just out and out snow in some isolated spots. I think the snow level is down to 7,500 feet as we go through tomorrow morning. That means the places like Monument Hill could see a flurry or two mixed in with some of the rain that does fall. 40 for Pueblo, 38 in Canyon City, middle to lower 40s as we head into the plains, and there will be some 20s and 30s up in the mountains. Leadville will drop all the way down to 21 degrees. Sky scan, the satellite and radars, we put the maps into motion now. You can see the way these showers have been moving, mostly off to the east, northeast. It's all associated with a low pressure center and upper level low that's dragged its way through the region a couple of days ago. That's what gave us the rough stuff that we saw back on Monday. Now another low is getting ready to develop over northern New Mexico and into the Texas and Oklahoma panhandles. That's going to continue to push its way to the northeast. That means that there will be more strong showers and thunderstorms into portions of Kansas and Nebraska. Not for us, but off to our east. If your travel plans take you in this direction, this will be quite the rough go over the next couple of days. We'll continue to see that chance for some strong to severe showers and thunderstorms over the next day or two from Missouri through Iowa back off to the southwest of there for in to Oklahoma and Texas, and then eventually off into the deep south as we go through our Friday morning and Friday afternoon and into our Friday evening as well. So as we look at then is what's going to happen now in terms of the temperatures, we're seeing very warm readings off to the southeast of this front, 87 in Oklahoma City, 90 in Dallas. Meanwhile, it's 58 in Colorado Springs, 56 in Salt Lake City, 57 in Helena, 42 at Casper, so much cooler behind the front, part of the reason that we are seeing such strong showers and thunderstorms over the plains this evening. As we go through our seven-day forecast, the springs will drop down to 59 degrees for the high on Friday. Then we do rebound as we go through the weekend, 73 on Saturday, 75 on Sunday. Temperatures then rebound even further to closer to 80 by the time we go into our Tuesday and Wednesday. Lows will be very chilly on Friday morning. Then will be less chilly as we go through the weekend, but you'll still need a jacket as you head out to your AM plans on both Saturday and Sunday. Pueblo, you'll be sitting in the middle 60s on Thursday and Friday. Then it's mid-upper 70s on Saturday and Sunday and lower 80s Monday, Tuesday and Wednesday. Canyon City. You'll be sitting in the lower to middle 60s for your highs after dropping down to near freezing on Friday morning. Then it's lower to middle 70s and eventually near 80 once again for you as you go into the last portion of the extended forecast. Telekine middle 50s for the highs. That's what we'll be able to do on Thursday and Friday. Temperatures below freezing on Friday morning. Break out the jackets and throw that extra log on the fire. Yeah, there we go. It yeah. begins. Yes. Thanks. Yeah, well, Rob.